Let us understand how to solve exponential equations. Concept is, rewrite the powers with the same base and then solve the following exponential equations. Well, that is also the question and the concept behind solving exponential equations. So whenever you are solving exponential equations, write them with the same base and then you can equate the powers to solve the equation. Let me show you how with the help of these three examples. So we have 2 to the power of x equals to 8 square. What we are supposed to do here is write 8 square as 2 to the power of something. Now once we get that, then x will be equal to that value. So that is the whole concept. Okay. So this is the concept which we are going to follow and solve all these exponential equations. So we have to write 8 as a base of 2. Now 8 is equals to what? 8 is like 2 times 2 times 2, right? So you can say 8 is 2 to the power of 3, correct? So that is our thinking part. Now once we do this, we know we can write 8 as 2 to the power of 3, right? Now let us rewrite our equation and then solve it. So we have equation as 2 to the power of x equals to 8 square, correct? Now 8, we know, can be written as 2 to the power of 3. So we can write this as 2 to the power of 3 and then square, correct? Now you can apply the laws of exponentials, right? That is, when we have exponent to the power of another exponent, they get multiplied. So I can write this as 2 to the power of 2 times 3, 6. So in a way, I got this equation 2 to the power of x equals to 8 square in the form of 2 to the power of something and that something is 6 for me. Now since here we have same basis, right? Basis 2, their exponent should be same and therefore we can write down our answer and that is x is equals to 6. I hope you understand these steps. Let's do it once again so that we kind of get them. Now we have this question which is 3 to the power of x equals to 9 cube. So what are we supposed to do? We are supposed to write 9 as a base of 3 to the power of some exponent, right? So we want to write this as 3 to the power of something, right? So that that something is equal to 9 cube. How can we do that? So let's start with like we did last time. 9 can be written as what? 9 is equal to 3 times 3 or 3 square, correct? And therefore, we can rewrite our question. And our question now becomes 3 to the power of x equals to 9 cube. And it really means 9 can be written as 3 square. So I'll write 9 as 3 square to the power of cube. And that gives me 3 to the power of 3 times 2 is 6. So I have 3 to the power of x equals to 3 to the power of 6. And therefore, x should be equals to 6 and that is my solution. Do you understand? I hope you get the concept. Now the next one. C. 25 to the power of x is equals to 5 to the power of 4. Now 25 is what? 25 is 5 square. So let me do it straight this time. 25 is 5 square. So I can write this as 5 square to the power of x. On the left side and the right side is 5 to the power of 4. Correct? Now when we apply the rules, it becomes 5 to the power of 2x as my left side. And the right side I have 5 to the power of 4. As you can see, we have rewritten our equation with same base. And now their exponent should be equal. Therefore, 2x is equal to 4. And now we can solve for x. Dividing both sides by 2, we get x equals to 4 divided by 2, that is 2. So that is how you can solve all the exponential equations. Let's go through them once again. So here, what did we do? We had 2 to the power of x equals to 8 square. We wrote 8 as 2 to the power of 3. 3 times 2 is 6, so we got 2 to the power of 6 as equals to 2 to the power of x. x should be 6, correct? 3 to the power of x equals to 9 cube. 
9 is 3 square. So we could write this as 3 to the power of 2 to the power of 3, rather 3 to the power of 6, and therefore x equals to 6. Right. So we get that solution. And here, again we did the same thing. 25 was written as 5 square, and then 5 to the power of 2x equals to 5 to the power of 4. Exponents should be same if the base is same. 2x equals to 4, we solve for x, which should be 2. You can verify and check all your answers. So place the value 6 here and check whether the left side is equals to right side or not. Okay. So check all these solutions and then move on with the next set of questions. Thank you.